हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अवर टॉपिक इन द क्लास टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग इज योर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम और वी आर राइटिंग अस एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर इन द गिवन चैप्टर लेट अस मेक इट लिस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अगेन दिस चैप्टर सपोज टू बी सिंपल वन बिकॉज द स्टूडेंट हैव लर्न द टर्म अर्लियर एटम इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटोन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशंस सम बेसिक आइडियाज दे ऑलरेडी हैव विद देम so for that reason the chapter is thought to be easier it is easy topic and in the examination almost all different entrance examinations at least you get two to three questions aapka do question to pakka milte hi milte hain is chapter se sometimes you may get even three questions from the given chapter structure of atom like one question can be given to you from different uh, mathematical portion calculation based questions and second from element electronic configurations and uh, without this chapter you can't understand the chemical bonding periodic properties or can take uh, an entire organic or inorganic chemistry because almost every time everywhere we need the basic ideas of the structure of atom orbitals involvement in bond formation or can take uh, their uh, hybridizations or the different kind of nature of compound formation which is depending on the elements electronic configurations so in the given chapter we will focus on certain aspects of the given chapter atomic structure like today we know that the atom have in the structure one part is nucleus which contain basically protons plus neutrons and outside we are having electrons which are taken the atoms three fundamental particles electrons protons and neutrons but in this uh, atom they can have several more sub atomic particles about them we are not uh, we are not uh, supposed to discuss more detail in the given chapter atomic structure we will focus our concern only on these three fundamental particles today we know that atom have three fundamental particles but earlier it was not known all this came from different evidences experimentations which led to the structure of atom today we know so for that uh, development of the structure uh, latest structure of atom uh, we will study how this uh, different uh, development was done from beginning until the latest idea we have about the structure of atom and is still study is not completed its journey is going on so by the way in the given chapter what topics we are going to discuss let us make a list here we will study first about different atomic models different atomic models in models we can take from your thomson's model to start with then we can take your rutherford's atomic model based on his alpha particle scattering experiment then you can take bohr's model in development of bohr model you have discussed about uh, it required several points more that uh, it requirements or when we take development of bohr model we are using certain more concepts like planck's quantum theory using planck's quantum theory and certain more other evidences which led to the bohr's atomic model okay and then we take latest figures quantum mechanical model quantum mechanical model of the atom in the atoms quantum mechanical model it is based on the schrodinger equation and it incorporate the wave nature about them we we'll discuss in details so anyway this uh, all will come in sequence so don't worry right now it is the some given sequence or the syllabus to study the bohr model before we take bohr model we will study in between planck's quantum theory planck's quantum theory we will uh, study or we will discuss before this bohr model and then we can take after bohr model we can take line spectrum of hydrogen and hydrogen like atoms or ions then we can take uh, different drawbacks in that we have b probably equation or relation 
and then we study about hydrogen box uncertainty principle we will study in along with that photo electric effect as well photo electric effect using this de broglie equation and hydrogen box principle we led to schrodinger equation basic idea we will give you about the schrodinger equation even though derivation is not in syllabus but some idea i can give you about schrodinger equation different graph that we have and then we can take quantum numbers after this quantum numbers and then writing the elements electronic configurations writing the elements electronic configurations actually that is the basic idea outline not the all topics but we will study in them different uh, more things that which that will explain their development because each uh, idea which came later was based on the concept of the ideas which were earlier available and their drawbacks were there that drawbacks of the ideas taken earlier were explained by the models that came later on development or more studies or can take uh, fine studies of the uh, different uh, drawbacks of the earlier models so in fact, in fact each model has some drawbacks each model has some drawbacks and then they are explained by the next models so anyway uh, we will study about these topics in examination you get questions when you take calculation based questions mathematical questions you are getting from Bohr model calculation of radius of atom electronic velocity in different orbitals then electronic energy in different orbits for hydrogen like atom or ions about that you get question numerical questions sometime uh, you get questions mathematical questions calculation based questions using planck's quantum theory line spectrum based question and then de broglie equation question asked more frequently in examination and also you get numerical questions on heisenberg principle and photoelectric effect and remaining question theoretical is given using almost all the points because to get the uh, calculation part some theory was involved that theory only led to the expressions which gave the different uh, models and using models we get some calculations so about that all calculations questions can be theoretical using electronic configurations they are very very important using element electronic configuration we can tell a lot about the nature of compounds that the element can form and also the nature of bonding or can take several other properties are linked with the elements electronic configurations normally element having similar electronic configurations also will have similar properties which are normally put together under periodic classification so for writing or for studying less topic coming periodic classification as well as chemical bonding atomic structure concept should be very clear okay so that is about, about your syllabus or the topics we will study in the given chapter atomic structure fine so let us start here first model but before we take even model we will study some basic ideas which were available earlier and then we will come on this point now as per the structure of atom is concerned the idea of the atom or can take the existence of atom was proposed by ancient indian and greek philosophers it was around 400 bc that they gave the idea of the existence of the atoms now what were atoms according to them the every matter was made of every matter was made of very small individual particles which were called as atoms according to them the atoms were very small individual particles actually when matter suppose is given to us if we keep on cutting matter into smaller particles smaller particles a stage can come that we get the smallest particle which we cannot further divide into more particles that the smallest particle which were the fundamental building block of the all the matter were called atom atom actually atom the word atom was derived from the greek word atomio theek hai na this come from the greek word atomio meaning individual if we cannot 
divide into more particles. Okay, when we uh, take the matter, suppose taken, we subdivide into more particles. On subdivision of matter, the one stage can come or reach where the matter is obtained, the smallest particle obtained, which further cannot be divided into more smaller particles. That particle, smallest particle is were called atom. They come from the Greek word atomio, meaning indivisible. And uh, this uh, idea of the structure of, at of, of this existence of atom, they were major uh, speculations. They just thought that it is possible. Hai. But they have no experimental basis. They have no, or this idea has no experimental basis. So it was not uh, touched for a long time. In 19th century, in 1808, a British scientist, John Dalton, John Dalton gave again revived this idea of the structure of atom and gave his famous Dalton's atomic theory, which again held true for a long time. True means which was uh, not challenged for a long time again. It was only later on in 1897 when the cathode ray experiment was done, which led to the electron discovery. And then we know came to know that atom is not smallest particle, but they can have in them more fundamental particles. Okay, so let us take a brief idea about also Dalton's theory because this Dalton theory which told that atom is smallest particle which cannot be divided into smaller particle led to our next idea of the structure of atom using cathode ray experiment which led to the discovery of electron and from the electron discovery it was given that atom is not smallest particle but they have in them further smaller particles. Okay. So let us take a brief idea about the Dalton's atomic theory as well. So let us take a brief idea about the Dalton's atomic theory. It was given in 1808 by English scientist John Dalton. According to him, the atom was the ultimate particle of the matter. Atom was the ultimate particle of the matter. So about the theory, he gave some postulates. That postulate you can note down. You postulate write points of the answer. He told that every matter is composed of very minute, very tiny particles called as atoms. And atoms are the smallest particle which can take part in chemical reactions. As for the first point, the, every matter is composed of very minute particles, we call them atoms. And they are the smallest particle which can take part in chemical reactions. As first postulate, then atom further cannot be divided into smaller particles. Atom was uncuttable. Atoms can't be subdivided. That's the basic idea or the point which we are using for the next topic cathode experiment from where we get the next model. He told atoms are the smallest particle which cannot be subdivided into smaller particles. Next the point came that atoms of different elements atoms of different elements they are different in properties they have different masses, they have different properties like boiling point, melting point, chemical reactions, they differ. But the atoms of same elements are identical in all respect. The atoms of same elements are identical in all respect. Like atomic like masses, all can take their uh, properties, they are all identical. Then atoms of, we can take here, different elements. Atoms of different elements, they can combine they can combine in simple ratio. They can combine. They can combine in simple ratio of atoms to form compounds. And then atoms can neither be created nor destroyed. Atoms cannot be created or destroyed. It was told by Dalton's atomic theory. For this theory, what we have some applications or drawbacks. Like we can take an applications. This theory was able to explain successfully the different laws that we discuss in basic principles laws of chemical combinations laws of chemical combinations like law of conservation of mass then it is law of definite proportions can a compound the elements will always have a definite percentage definite amount by mass and this also could explain law of multiple proportions it could also explain the law of multiple proportions but there were still some drawbacks in his model. The drawback which uh, this point is taken here, we can say came when the atoms were discovered to have 
smaller particles in them and atom is not smallest particle but can possess in them electrons further anyway the drawback can be taken like about the uh, atoms fine structure it is not explained atoms fine structure it is not explained and then you can take here that in how the uh, atoms of different elements they differ actually there's only points give why the atoms of different elements uh, they can combine how they combine it is not explained and then why the element of different uh, why the atoms of different element different properties how the properties are different it is again not explained okay the postulate only the postulates were there about postulates we could go he could give no explanation like how the atoms of different element will differ next how the how the atoms of different elements can combine to form compounds so about them it was not able to explain but this main drawback is taken this one here ki that atom is the smallest particle which cannot be further subdivided into more particles and this is explained after cathode ray experiment after cathode ray experiment which is coming our next topic from cathode ray experiment they could discover the electrons electron were discovered and then for this cathode ray experiment idea about the atom were given by thomson so let us take our next topic we will first discuss about the cathode ray experiment properties of cathode rays and then property of anode rays as well along with that and after this cathode ray anode experiment we can take the new models to start now for the uh, next we can take topic coming after darkness theory it was held for long time that uh, atom was supposed to be smallest particle but atom having them further some smaller particles more we call them sub atomic particles we call them sub atomic particles so let us now study about some some uh, some sub atomic particles which are taken electron proton neutron their discovery sequence so first electron were discovered by the famous cathode ray experiment a simple example of cathode ray uh, tube can be taken your television picture tube that is working on this principle only cathode ray tube so basically what is this cathode ray experiment let us see here setup it uh, the setup was the, uh, there actually it was uh, based on faraday's laws of electrolysis which were which were given in earlier 19th century that faraday's laws that uh, we have two faraday's laws given passing electricity through the solutions he gave two observations that the amount of uh, uh, substance which were produced at electrodes were proportional to the amount of electricity passed and second was their relation with the uh, masses of the or the element uh, elements equivalent masses second law any way that laws are discussed in detail in topic electrochemistry but that could explain that electricity is carried by some particles which were called which can be called electrons so anyway we are coming on the topic here cathode ray experiment it is the setup which led to the electron discovery what is this cathode ray uh, setup you have taken a uh, sealed glass tube it is taken a sealed glass tube also called as discharge tube it is a sealed glass tube or also called discharge tube and in the uh, tube they have two electrodes one is called cathode which is negatively charged one is called anode which is positively charged how the sign is given from the external source of electricity the sign is negative the electrode which is attached to this negative electrode will be given negative sign aapka jo electrode aapka attach hai is negative electrode se usse hum bolte hain cathode aur uska sign kya hoga negative sign hota hai aur aapka jo second electrode laga hua hai which is attached to batteries positive terminal will be called as anode and the sign given is positive for the anode this is set up taken it is a sealed glass tube also we call this discharge tube in this uh, discharge tube we have taken the gas at very low pressure the gas is taken at very low pressure why because the we know that uh, gases are not uh, good conductor on fact they are poor conductor of electricity 
तो एट नॉर्मल कंडीशंस थ्रू द गैस नो फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैन बी ऑब्जर्व थ्रू द गैस एट नॉर्मल प्रेशर एट नॉर्मल प्रेशर नो फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज पॉसिबल बट एट लो प्रेशर वेरी लो प्रेशर व्हेन इट इज टेकन देन थ्रू द गैस दे कैन शो सम फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तो फॉर द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एट लो प्रेशर वी हैव टेकन फॉर द हाइड्रोजन गैस एट लो प्रेशर इन द डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब सो गैस इज टेकन एट लो प्रेशर इन द डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब हाउ इट इज डन प्रेशर इज रिड्यूस बाय कनेक्टिंग द सील्ड ग्लास ट्यूब टू ए वैक्यूम पंप व्हिच इवैक्यूएट द गैस मॉलिक्यूल्स टू लार्ज एक्सटेंड सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट कि द गैस इज टेकन एट वेरी लो प्रेशर व्हाई लो प्रेशर बिकॉज़ इट हाई प्रेशर और इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन ऑफ प्रेशर द गैसेस कैन नॉट शो एनी फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी थ्रू देम पहला पॉइंट अगला पॉइंट क्या है we take two electrodes and then we are applying high voltage we apply very high voltage of the range around 1000 volts on applying through this uh, discharge tube a very high voltage what happen the gas which is there in the tube start emitting faint green color light it is start emitting faint greenish color light so gas will emit light why it is then uh, said that gas will be uh, coming from this or the particles are coming from the cathode so this rays are called as cathode rays in uh, to observe this here if i suppose take a anode having perforations if i take suppose anode have pores and we take the wall behind or wall opposite to it is suppose taken cathode it is anode so if i take the anode having perforations pores so what happen this rays can pass to the through the perforations and if i suppose take here a fluorescent material if i take here coating by zinc sulfide zinc sulfide is a, uh, one of the example of a fluorescent material what is fluorescent material it is a fluorescent material iska meaning kya hota hai ki whenever the particles strike on this material they produce a flash of light they produce a flash of light and when these uh, rays these rays which are supposed to originate from the cathode they pass through the perforations in the anode and then they can strike this wall opposite to cathode they can produce flash of light and uh, when this rays are uh, emitting here they can also made the glass wall opposite to cathode to shine to produce a faint green color light this uh, glass wall opposite to cathode also start producing a faint greenish color light that the idea of the television picture tube the rays are emitting out they strike the glass wall screen and then the screen start emitting light so that is the cathode rays are supposed to emit here this cathode rays have some properties from the property of cathode rays some idea more was given about the rays so i hope it's clear so the rays can travel they can strike they can pass through the perforations or pores in the anode produce flash light indicating that they are made of some material particles so let us take the properties of cathode rays now we'll take cathode rays properties first kind of property that the cathode rays they travel in straight line they travel in straight line how this one can be explained or proved that they can cast a shadow of the object placed in the path if i suppose place an object suppose there the cathode rays traveling this direction if i place an object in their path so what happen and i put a screen behind them so on the screen they produce the shadow of the object okay that uh, this point is proved that the cathode rays travel in straight line it is proved as the cathode rays 
will cast a shadow of the object if placed in their path this placing the path the shadow uh, object is indicative of this traveling the straight line now next can be taken that they have these rays have mechanical nature rays have mechanical nature what is meaning of mechanical nature mechanical nature means they are made of particles they are made of particles they are made of particles how this point made of particles can be proved that if i suppose place a light mica wheel in their mounted on the uh, if i take suppose it is taken a light mica wheel if i place mounting on the axle if i part the cathode rays here this cathode rays have the ability to rotate the light mica wheel place in their path if i place suppose i am getting this point if we place a light mica wheel mounted on the axle in the path of the cathode rays so these rays if they are made of particles those particles will collide with the mica wheel and by collision it can uh, transfer energy and then this wheel start rotating on this axis so this property that taken uh, this property or this uh, observation prove that they are made of particles as they are capable they can rotate a light mica wheel placed in their path placed in their path so this property is uh, this property can be explained only by the mechanical nature that the cathode rays are made of a beam or stream of particles those particles are moving with definite kinetic energy when they collide with the mica wheel energy transfer will take place and then the mica wheel start rotating so that is the meaning of mechanical nature next we can take the property regarding charge so let us take next point now then we can take here this uh, cathode rays next property can be taken that they have negative charge they have negative charge it is uh, proved this is proved by their deflection in by their deflection in electric and magnetic field electric and magnetic field that the negative charge the cathode rays are carrying negative charge this can be proved by the deflection in the electric field or the magnetic field kichi kya hota hai dekhiye there the beam of cathode rays we apply suppose electric field positive plates negative plates so what happen the deflection of the cathode rays towards the positive plate is indicative that is rays are moving then that these rays are carrying the negative charge deflection in the electric field or even magnetic field when we suppose apply similarly magnetic field these rays are deflected indicative that they will carry negative charge so deflection in the electric field or the magnetic field that prove that the cathode rays are carrying negative charge i hope it is clear deflection in electric or magnetic field prove that the cathode rays are having negative charge then next point can be taken they will they have heating effect they have heating effect meaning if i take a metal foil on the metal foil we will uh, suppose i orient the cathode rays continuously then in cathode rays uh, when they strike the metal rod continuously then the metal rod or metal we can take sheet will show some heating if i pass the cathode rays or strike the cathode rays on a thin metal sheet the cathode metal sheet get some heating so heating again is because of only the reason can be explained by energy transfer that the cathode rays are having some kinetic energy that energy transfer will take place to the metal sheet and then metal sheet will show some heating effect next property you can have 
that they cause the ionization of gas ionization of gas through which they pass they cause the ionization of the gas through which they pass they cause ionization of the gases through which they are passing i hope it is clear suppose we pass the gas uh, means gas can be taken anyone through the gas different gas we can take in discharge to whatever gases are there they get ionized by the cathode rays okay and then the point came the charge to mass ratio the charge to mass ratio was found to be same the charge to mass ratio for the cathode rays was determined by thomson by his uh, application of electric and magnetic field on the cathode rays and then he could give the charge to mass ratio the charge to mass ratio now we call this e by m ratio e by m ratio it is found to be same found to be same for cathode rays found to be same for cathode rays irrespective of the gas taken in discharge tube found to be same for cathode rays irrespective of the gas taken in the discharge tube you take any gas whatever gas taken in discharge tube for all the gases taken the ratio of charge to mass for cathode rays was found to be same and the charge to mass ratio was given by thomson by his observations is found to be minus 1.758 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per gram kg this charge to mass ratio was given by thomson by his so observation on application of electric and magnetic field and then strength uh, gave this charge to mass ratio for the cathode rays it was found to be same irrespective of the gas taken in discharge tube this one is very important because this property is same charge to mass ratio for the cathode rays irrespective of the gas taken in discharge tube prove that that this point prove that the electrons this point prove that actually this cathode rays are made of beam of electrons this point actually uh, prove that the electrons are the universal this point proved here okay i'll write next point the charge to mass ratio for all kind of gases any gas taken in fact here in the discharge tube was found to be same is respective of the gas taken in discharge tube and it was determined by thomson the values minus 1.758 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg and this value or this ratio same or constant value prove that same e by m ratio prove that that the electrons which are making the cathode rays electrons are universal constituent of all matter you take all matter each matter in fact all matter is made or they will contain in them electrons basically what make the cathode rays what make the cathode rays basically cathode rays are actually beam of electrons what are cathode rays basically they are beam of electrons stream of particles come take here beam of electron or stream of electrons i can use word better word stream of electrons what is source of cathode rays this cathode rays are the stream of electrons the source can be taken of cathode rays the source of cathode rays is taken first cathode itself plus gas in the discharge tube gas ionization if i take some other example taken here if i take uh, say hydrogen gas this when we apply from outside high voltage uska meaning kya hota hai from outside when we apply high voltage that means 
we are pro, uh, supplying highly energetic electrons then we are taking discharge tube by taking gas at low pressure and then we apply very high voltage high voltage means we are supplying high electricity that means we are supplying highly energetic electrons those high energy electrons this is highly energetic electrons they will knock out some electron more from the gas molecules or they can first make the gas molecule to dissociate to form atoms then from atom they can knock out electrons so in any way I am writing simplified way if I write first here H2 ion plus 2 electrons from where will it second electron from H2 molecule when this dissociate so this is the electron 1 from here I can write electron 2 times E plus E and second electron come from the I can write this one here directly this electron come from the cathode which is original and second electron from the hydrogen gas molecule dissociation now you see these high energy electrons when they strike the hydrogen gas molecules or other gas molecules they will supply energy to electrons in the atoms and electrons will gain energy and they can overcome the attraction force of nucleus and they can come out or first the molecule can break to form atoms in atom electrons are coming out in any way I am just writing simplified way it is what the source the source can be taken to one taken cathode itself which is providing uh, which is providing high energy electrons high energy electrons they will knock out some electron more from the gas molecules and together they will make the electron beam this electron beam together will make up the cathode rays this make up the cathode rays so I hope you are getting this point question is the exam what is the exam question is the exam that what is the source of the cathode rays the source of the cathode rays is taken the first cathode itself and second taken the gas ionization this point also link here that all the gas molecules can ionize to produce more electrons this electron produced here they will make up the cathode rays they will make up the cathode rays and for that is the reason why for cathode rays the charge to mass ratio is found to be same for all the gases taken in the discharge tube and this point prove this point this observation prove this point that same value of EYM ratio prove that the electrons are the universal constituent of all matter I hope it is clear till now now after cal calculation of this charge to mass ratio of the electron next point is coming the charge of the electron don't get the mass of the electron first we first get the charge to mass ratio of the electron then we got the charge of the electron and then finally the mass of electron was determined so let us take uh, charge to mass ratio uh, after that we take charge of the electron determination electronic charge was given by Millikan by his oil drop experiment okay let us see the next one 